This is Tanara Kuranov, your friendly neighborhood gamer mouse, but... <laughs> uh, we're just going to play some Rebuild 2 because it is 1 in the morning and I am bored and I got a guy that looks a lot like Samuel L. Jackson. Or at least in some role. He looks like he's Samuel L. Jackson in some role. So, shenanigans in the zombie apocalypse, apparently. I've played the I've played this game a little bit, but not very far into it. And I already noticed one weird little glitch. I can only click like the bottom of the continue button, but my name is Samuel L. Jackson, and I may be the last man alive. <laughs> All these zombies look like bitches. <laughs> Been on the move for so long, running from those things, those monsters that used to be human. They were bakers, programmers, teachers, neighbors. Now they stiff the air like wolves and their dead eyes watch endlessly for the movement of their prey. Me. But no one preys on Samuel L. Jackson. Down to a few supplies of my trusty pistol. Not alone. Finally I made it to... Hmm... What do I call this place? We want it kind of tough. That's the normal difficulty, I think. I tried on impossible, and it really is friggin' impossible. I really don't know how you do that. Okay, finally I made it to some small town in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere middle of nowhere Kansas like Courage the Cowardly Dog it's a tiny city we're just gonna call it nowhere finally made it to nowhere and was so excited to find other people I almost got myself killed on the way to their fort that's a lie well no way now Samuel L. Jackson has been killed in, in his acting roles especially Pulp Fiction dude you just shot Marvin in the face why the frick do you do that? <laughs> so I join up with them to lead them to put my feet down here and stop running. Walled up four blocks of this small city. Four blocks. That's not a whole lot. Today we begin to rebuild. Welcome to nowhere. Or what's left of it. The seven of us secured four buildings against the zombies outside, but we're running out of food and there's no telling how long the defenses will hold. Oh yeah, boy, you guys are in a real serious shit pickle of a situation, aren't you? <laughs> That's not a Samuel L. Jackson thing, that would be angry video game nerd. Yes. Well, these zombies don't look so bad, they all look like bitches. Expect me to do bad imitations of, like, a lot of people. Oh, hey, new subscriber on YouTube. Huh, my email popped up. Cool. Anyway, let's see. Reclaiming 25 of the darker buildings. So we have a police station, apartments to house survivors, a farm to grow crops, and a suburb to house people. What's the threat situation look like? Got zombies all over, huh? Well, the, the farm looks like it'll be nice. We need food. Recruit survivor. Send Samuel L. Jackson to recruit some survivors. Take Megan Mishkin along, I guess, because why not? Can I change names? I guess I can if I want to. If I get some people I really like, I guess I'll rename them. Idle survivors will guard the fort from zombies, good to hear, but it's better to have most of them doing something like finding supplies or expanding our walls. Church. Pretty much nothing there except for some survivors. We don't exactly have anybody charismatic around. Maybe we should just reclaim the place. Yeah, let's start doing that. 
Uh, and we'll get some people scouting around here so we know just what we're dealing with. This all mart. People look like they took photos of people and it's kind of creepy looking. Like it's like they're photos except not. We convinced a soldier to leave a pathetic squad on the farm and come live in the fort. She seems pretty green, so we'll see how long she lasts. Signed, Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. We'll scout out the other corners. Corporal Ng. <laughs> Sergeant Gray. Ow. My jaw. Okay. That's a laboratory. I remember playing the first rebuild, and I know the research is real useful, so... It's Matt Nukem. Duke Nukem's cousin, apparently. Send Megan, Me Megan Mishkin out there, too. Send a few people out there to kill some zombies at the laboratory. Scavenge for some supplies at the farm. Including Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> Group of people camped out in the suburb. I always know where to find the good stuff on these scavenging missions, like the shotgun I picked up today. I just had a feeling, and there it was. Samuel L. Jackson. Well, Samuel L. Jackson, since you found it, you should get the shotgun. Corporal Ng, you have the pistol. Wow, we have somebody who's better than Samuel L. Jackson at shooting things. He's the leader, though. He's the good leader of the group. Still some food left on the farm, but I just want to—I want to kill the zombies and clear the place out. Let's see. Recruit survivors. Samuel L. Jackson, you try and recruit some people. You're the charismatic one. Uh oh. We're getting attacked by zombies. Zombies! We have like one person guarding near the Allmart. Dude, look how similar that Allmart is. It's like they just took the W off and put an extra L in, and it's like literally the exact same friggin' same. They hit our walls like a storm. We hit them back. Metal gear. Metal zombie. No problem. Destroy the... There are only two ways to kill a zombie. Destroy the brain or burn it to a crisp. I'd say we just about turned the second method into an art form today. Megan Mishkin. Convince two people to come back to the fort with us. If you ask me, they didn't stand much of a chance of surviving otherwise. Private Manning and Feng... Fing Fitzgerald. Let's capture that laboratory. There's some useful research we can do with it. Fang Fitzgerald? Good, you have some skill in building. You go at it. It'll take one less day. Okay. The police station will add some much needed defense, so. Matt Newcomb, Samuel L. Jackson, Higashi, just to be totally safe. Because that's our danger level there, the chance of something bad happening. I wouldn't want something bad happening, so we're going to make sure. Let's clear out the police station. Church is part of our territory. Churches raise happiness, I believe, but they haven't introduced that yet. Like I said, I played the first one. So. You're not dead yet? Good! Wouldn't you expect me to be dead already? Remember, you need to reclaim 25 buildings to win, including City Hall, which is somewhere on the map. There are other secret ways to win, too. Okay, let's reclaim this farm so we can try and be self-sustaining here, and we'll scout out some of these surrounding areas once again so we know what we're dealing with. I don't like my borders to be unknown. Bad idea to have your borders be unknown. Zero percent danger of... That's like fort danger, depending on people you still have at the fort and not assigned to anything, so... And day five, we'll have a lot of things scouted out. 
Who's Ron Popeil? That's probably a reference I don't get, and people are probably going to go, Oh my gosh, why don't you get every single pop culture reference ever? But whatever. Met someone briefly while scouting the suburb. You did came out and scared him off while we were talking. But, yada yada yada. Met a guy in the farm, seemed to be shell shocked. Ooh, helipad over there. That looks like it could be useful. Okay, the police station's cleared out, so. We don't have anybody skilled in building. Megan Mishkin, time you learn how to build. Fortify the police station. Okay. I guess we'll try and expand this way. Corporal Ng, Matt Newcomb, take some zombies out. Might have some other people go on zombie killing missions too, just to thin the border zombies out and raise some people's skills. Dual benefits and all. If we can keep the border zombies thin, the zombie attacks won't be as powerful anyways. Little Hobo. <laughs> that wandering dog London reappeared at the fort today with a fresh wild pheasant. Maybe this time you'll want to settle down. I always remember when I used to mispronounce pheasant as peasant. <laughs> Get your peasant hunting license. So we can equip somebody with the dog. Private Manning. We'll give her the dog. Do we have any other equipment? No, not really. Okay. Wow, we really need to scavenge for some food here. So I'm gonna leave the fort in a little bit of danger, but goodness. Ooh. Gustav the traitor. We sucked him some trinkets for a crate of clementines. Sweet. Thank you, Gustav. I used to have a friend who had a uh they're not used to. Still do have a friend. Ah, what was it? A flotzel named Gustav? It, that character was a jerk, though. <laughs> to most people, it's funny, weird. I guess this Gustav is not the same as his Gustav. We should get our top eggheads under this new lab and do some research. Hurry up already with my flying car and robotic companion. Don't think we're gonna get those, but. Uh, had this western showdown with a zombie today. We're both facing off the middle of the road, then BAM! I draw and shoot in one smooth motion. Clint Eastwood, that's me, Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> You're famous already, Mr. Jackson. There's still more food in the bar, but we brought as much back as we could carry. Good, we need as much as we can get. Let's, uh, do some killing and try to expand our borders here. It's like a game of civilization where you're completely surrounded by an enemy civilization or something. Zombies all around. Let's scout out the uh, heliport here. Scout out this grocery too. Ah, my head itches. Okay. Um. All right. Heliport. Looks like there's a working helicopter there, and enough fuel to fly us away to somewhere safe, somewhere else, maybe even somewhere safe. Farm reclaimed. Good, we'll be bleeding less food here. Not as much as it used to produce, but it'll do. Alright. Cool. I know you can also do things like convert farms to suburbs, and convert suburbs to farms, so you can trade people capacity for food production. Let's see what we can do at the research facility, the laboratory. If you cancel, then restart researching. Your new scientists will pick up right where they left off. Well, that's good to know. I can take people on and off of a job. Preservation. Get more food from scavenging and stop it from going bad. That sounds like something I need. We don't have any scientists, though. <laughs> so, uh, there. It'll take ten days with those people. We don't have anybody skilled in scientific research, but... Oh well. Uh, that'll put the fort in a lot of danger. I don't want to do that. Last Judgment Gang. We've been targeted by the Last Judgment Gang. You raided us last night and stole our food. Ay ay ay. 
So we got di friggin' survivor dicks, too. They're dressed like Catholic priests and yelling something about us being punished for our sins. Good bunch of Christians those guys are. Might finally get some peace and quiet in the suburb now that we've all cleared all the undead out. Alright. Yep, happiness. 55% happy. Keep that above 30% or people could get uppity and refuse to work or worse. Build churches and bars to make people happier. <laughs> so I could have the approval ratings of Obama and still run this place just fine. <laughs> uh, or Carter. Yeah, Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, it'd be good for him to get a little building skill, I guess. Just in case. Uh, let's expand out to the house and to the hospital. Hospital's good. It keeps people from dying of disease. Helps injured people. Good thing to have. Very good thing to have. Okay. We're going to have to clear out that heliport because it's going to be on our borders, though. That's going to be fun. Uh, but we'll have a police station here. Some controversy over a book one of our survivors has been writing called The Zombie Condition. The author glorifies the disease as a gift, which upsets some people. Should we ban the book? I find that disturbing as well, considering they're trying to kill us all, but... Free speech, I don't want to ban it. Fans are eagerly awaiting their turn to read the book and are laboriously making handwritten copies. Guess that's good. Fortified the chop shop, which is more secure than most buildings. Chop shop, cop shop. <laughs> chop shop. <coughs> make a good staging point for organizing defense. Good. Raise the defense of our town. It can let some people do some other things. Good, good, good. In fact, let's scout out our borders again. The All Mart needs scouted out. Let's scout out the park. Scout out this police station over here and figure out what's on our borders. Knowledge is power. Zombie attack. Smoked him this time. Okay. Huh. Caravan's being charitable. Laboratory reclaimed. Some creepy experiments going on in the lab I fortified. They had zombies chained to treadmills, zombies in MRI machines, zombies with parts of their brains cut out, and all kinds of weird experiments. Fun. I know the all marts can be fortified if you have a good builder, so... That's also a good thing to capture, believe it or not. Sounds like it'd be useless, but they can be fortified and add some much-needed defense. We should start trying to clear out the heliport and get it. It's overrun. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm going to need a lot of people here. Fang Fitzgerald, you have no combat experience, but we're going to take you over to the heliport anyways. Gustav came by to trade it. He doesn't have much. He's offering some megaphone for 10 food. I don't have a whole lot of food to spare, dude. Sorry. As much as equipment, it'd probably be a good thing. They call us the Cowboys of Nowhere. <laughs> that sounds like a nickname you give to someone who's a really bad sheriff. Because we herd him, we rope him, give him a hammer gun to the temple. 46 zombies cleared. Still overrun, but a lot less zombies there than there was before. Alright, let's uh... Start having him clear that out. These well-armed guys called the Granville Rifts rolled in, th rolled through in a Humvee convoy today and killed a bunch of the Zed around the fort. They said they were just doing it to help out. No payment needed. Thanks. Better than that last Judgment Gang. I always dreamt of having a little cottage with a white picket fence like this one we just secured. Minus the rotting corpses of former owners, of course. But nothing's perfect. Samuel L. Jackson. Nowhere general is secured and open for business. If I can find a doctor to look at this itchy green gunk growing between my toes. Okay, that sounds like an episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog 2. Got nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. <laughs> okay, let's scout around. The Exor gas. And scouted. Uh, okay, I don't want to do too much scouting or it'll be unsafe. 
Another easy victory thanks to some well-placed traps. Sergeant Gray was injured during the fight. Good thing we have a hospital. Zombies are people too. Our local writer Megan Mishkin has finished another book which is taken nowhere by storm. She wants to open a church where she could preach ideas from her books. Should we let her? Uh, no, because that sounds like another episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog where the people start, like, wanting to become zombies or something. So, no. I was bummed she couldn't hold meetings at the church, but she finally agreed to stop spreading those stupid ideas around Samuel L. Jackson. There's still more in there, and I think they're even angrier than before. Matt Newcomb. I'm here to shoot zombies and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of gum. Speaking of which, we're almost all out of food. Ton of food at XR Gas. Well, that's good to hear. Let's send out some scavenging teams, gosh darn it. Okay, we need some food. Yes, yes. More handouts. These caravans must be well off if they're able to afford that. Found a little bonus in the XR gas. Two boxes of old porno packs from the 1980s. <laughs> this should keep the boys entertained, though it seems like mostly all these girls had going for them was the hair. Samuel L. Jackson. So Samuel L. Jackson found boxes of porno packs. Here, guys, we found porn! You don't have to have the internet, thank goodness. Yay! <laughs> found a crate of chocolate bars that haven't been eaten by bugs. Wow, we're getting a lot of happiness with porno mags and chocolate bars. Dang, we're doing good. <laughs> okay, let's uh, kill off the zombies of the trailer park. Finish off the zombies of the heliport. Um, the forest is right here, so that makes a natural barrier, I think. If we can... We won't have a whole lot of extra border to worry about if we take the heliport because we've reached the edge of this little bodunk town of nowhere. <laughs> and let's take the park because I think we can convert it into a farm, so... No, that'll leave the fort in way too much danger, never mind. Love caravan. Gustav brought some special ladies to the fort. Ladies with certain talents best displayed behind closed doors. We can hire them for the day for only 15 food. I don't have the food to spare for that. Besides, you're prostituting these women, Gustav. We declined Gustav's offer and suggested the ladies could use some real safety and protection. Samuel L. Jackson. As opposed to the kind of protection they're going to be using in their li current line of work. <laughs> Ew. Ugh. Anyway. Okay. Research complete. Pickled beets and beef jerky for everyone. Now that we know the best ways to keep food from rotting, our scavengers can collect more food. Can you count, suckers? The Rifts killed 14 zombies today. That's 14 lists that we gotta worry about. Samuel L. Jackson. Ever seen a zombie's head explode? Today I saw four. We usually save our jury rigged flamethrowers for these clearing missions. It's a bad assignment, but fire makes it much more fun. Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> Okay, let's reclaim the heliport. Feng Fitzgerald, you go at it. And reclaim that trailer park. Samuel L. Jackson, you you handle that. I don't know why, I'm just going to have you do that. Okay, let's have a laboratory. Research pesticides. Active farmers will produce more food and prevent crop failures. Good. Okay, 15 days is what that'll take. Really? There's another farm right over here. We can scavenge for supplies. We can... Okay, I'm just going to send one person to scavenge over there. Mysterious scientist. The strange old guy at the gate who claims to be a doctor and wants to use our lab. He's twitchy and nervous and smells kind of off. Should we let him... Oh, of course he's twitchy and nervous. He's in the middle of a bunch of zombies. And he smells kind of off. He's... Wandering the wastelands, he's lucky he's still alive. Let's let him in. Dr. Brian Koneko barely introduced himself. He just scurried to the nearest lab and locked the door. Okay, that is kind of odd. Looks like he might be in there for good, so we'll have to find another lab for our own research. Well, good thing we have two. Hack and slash cleared zombies at the park. I love the smell of charred, rotting flesh in the morning. 
Smells like victory. Still more food at the farm, but I brought back as much as I could carry. Let's reclaim this area. Uh, Megan, Mishkin, you go ahead and do that. Okay, farm. Let's recruit some survivors, if at all possible. Met this big guy. He's been camping on a rooftop for the past week. Thought things were going pretty well, but something we said really upset him. Better try again later. Hmm. Let's kill some of the zombies, make things safer over here. Uh-oh, zombie attack as I sent people away. Zed made a mess out there, but everybody kept their cool. Okay, good. Nobody got injured. Nothing bad happened. Private Manning was shot in the shoulder last night by the last Judgment Gang. Then the Psycho stepped right over him to steal our supplies. This wouldn't have happened if we had more guards on duty. I hell. We don't know who set fire to that fuel truck, but the explosion almost took out the whole heliport. We'll have to find the right parts, tools, and expertise if we're going to fix that helicopter. Oh, man. Who blew it up? That's unexpected. Okay. Let's try and recruit some people again. We've got some broken electronics, Gustav, once, and we'll try to see they're apart for that broken helicopter or the cure for zombieism. We want the cure, right? Yeah, like he has the cure for zombieism. Right. If that were true. We traded for the helicopter part. Oh, well, I guess we might find a use for that rotor hub or whatever it is. Cleared the trailer park? Skilled builder and had this old farmhouse fixed up real nice. Knows a few things about engineering and wants to take a look at our busted helicopter. Well, let's reclaim this farm. Make it snappy, man. I'm gonna scavenge for supplies here. We're running out of food. <laughs> oh, Horde of Zed. Get ready for a fight. Nowhere now stretches across 14 city blocks. I'd say we're about halfway to having this city under control. Cleared out the park. Scavenging some supplies. Okay, let's replace it with a farm here. Because the park is kind of useless to us. Scavenge for supplies at the All Mart. Dr. Bryuchenko came up to demand Ow. Demand an assistant again? Still won't tell us what he's doing in there, but Tom Gulbert volunteered. Should we let him join that weirdo? Well, that's not very nice. Yes, sure. Tom went to help with that crazy scientist with whatever research is going on in that lab. I hope he's going to be safe in there. Find a crate of chocolate bars. Yay! Love chocolate. Alright. We need to scout the area a little. Good idea, anyway. Do we have anybody else who doesn't have combat experience we can send out? Because we need people with combat experience around. Oh boy, here they come. Wow, oh, we're sure getting charitable from the caravans here. Yay, we have a farm. Oh boy. Alright, we got him. Build a turret mounted flamethrower using the jet fuel we found at the heliport. No, I'll probably need that jet fuel. Yeah, I'll probably need it if we ever want to get that helicopter off the ground, like this note says. Okay. We need more. Pe we need a couple more people working on that or something. Okay. Oi. Oi, vey. Scout out the area a little, would ya? Well, 
Okay, what to take next? Let's try taking the all mark. Try and recruit some people first. Crowbar for 10 food. We really don't have food to spare, dude. Yay. Soldier and his family joined the fort today. That makes 15 of us now. Let's uh, kill us some zombies. Take that Allmart back. Oh boy. Whew. Was not sure about that. There was some high zombie activity there. Sent people away at just the wrong time. Got somebody wounded, but good this thank goodness we have a hospital. The rifts. Uh, oft fourteen zombies around the fort. Very nice. Good good. Dr. Bryuchung Ryu Kaneko needs data for his secret research project. He wants us to go out in front of an approaching zombie horde and observe their behavior, preferably without getting eaten. Oh dear. Almart is all cleaned up and undead free for now, so we should send in a team to reclaim it. What if the zombie disease is a fungus, like that cordyceps stuff that gets into ants' brains and controls them, drives around like a car? Just saying, it could be Samuel L. Jackson. And if you're wondering, yes, that is a real fungus that does remote control ants, climbs them up to the tops of trees and pff, explodes them to spread it. Scary that there's something that's like the real, that's like an actual zombie thing, isn't it? It actually exists. Just in ants, but it still exists. <laughs> Fun, isn't it? Hey, there's City Hall. Okay. Gonna clear out some Zed here. Freaking heck, they're crowding the Exor there. All Samuel L. Jackson wants to do is read books all day long. That's unusual. We're gonna put him to work reading a cultural history of zombies. Should he read helicopter repair for morons instead? Yes. Samuel learned quite a bit from that repair manual and shared his knowledge with the rest of our builders. Good. Let's uh, scavenge for supplies in the grocery here. Didn't know zombies could swim before today. We found one of them in a swimming pool, kind of bobbing along at a neutral buoyancy. Seemed to be enjoying itself. Killed 23 zombies. Took all the supplies we could from the grocery. Some good eats in there, but I was kind of hoping to find some spam. Mmm, spam. Samuel L. Jackson. Well, I was not aware that he was fond of spam. But, okay then. We have another farm now. That's good. We've almost researched pesticides. Clear some zombies out from this grocery and expand our borders to the edge there, too. Good thing to do, probably. Zombie attack! Let's see what our numbers are. Defense 106, zombies 128. Nobody died. We killed most of them before they even got to the walls. Goody, goody. Stop trying to bring your prostitutes, Gustav. Jeez. Seriously, ladies, you should come here and get some real, like, safety in the fort. Seriously. Had a doozy of a time securing that Allmart. I had to search it for all over for enough material to do it, but at least that didn't give me much trouble during the process. Build defenses. You should really do that. It'll help us a lot. Last night our food stores are raided by those crazy biker priests again. Butch Walsh got one before they rode off, but if we'd been better defended they might not have got anything. Cleared lots of old bodies in there. You wouldn't believe the smell even after months of decay. Zombies killed. I once heard that cats bite the heads off mice because they crave some amino acid or something you get from eating brains. So does that make cats like little zombies? Corporal Ng. Indeed, Corporal Ng. That's kind of a disturbing thought you got going there. Fang Fitzgerald, secure the grocery. Um. Gonna replace the field of the farm. 
Samuel L. Jackson. No, he's a good fighter. Mohammed Wright, you get on that. Samuel L. Jackson, uh, I don't know. C help clear the McNoodles or something. <laughs> Ow. Let's get some people scouting the area surrounding this. So we know what we're up against again. Small merchant caravan was generous again. Church looks like a bad place to live, but there's at least one guy trying to do just that. We should invite him to join us and give him some decent digs. How come when you secure a place you don't rescue the survivors when you do that? I'm confused as to why that happens. People are f crying for blood over the destruction of our helicopters. We don't have proof, but Sergei has been acting weird since it happened. <laughs> should round up some guys and get the truth out of him. Eh, that sounds like a bad idea. Got my eye on Sergei, but until we got some proof, we'll leave the oddball alone. Collected data for Dr. Bruhelenko's research with the horde moved through the grocery. They just suddenly appeared in the grocery, more like. Some of the zombies seem to be communicating, leading the dumber ones to us. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson had a western showdown with a zombie. Guess we better hold our ground, because the zombie horde's coming. Don't need to, don't want to spread people out right now. Yes. Built defenses in the All Mart. Good, good. Let's uh, reclaim the McNoodles. We'll probably convert it into something else. While we're at it, let's uh, try and secure the police station, get even more defense on our side here. That'd be a good thing to do. Zombie attack again. Another easy victory. Good, good. We traced our crop failures to the microscopic pest Millipedus minusculus and introduced the predator Predatere gigantum to control them. <laughs> Active farmers now produce one extra food each, so if I assign farmers, it would actually be useful now. Normally they just provided one food each, now it'll be two, so... Our soldiers are so badass, even the rifts are impressed. We went on a zombie-killing derby today to show off our skills. Sweet. Sounds like a productive use of time. It really does. Okay. Oh boy. Let's see what to do, what to do. There's a graveyard over here we should probably clear out. <laughs> Make sure that uh, zombies stay dead in that graveyard. Yeah, repelled another zombie attack. Zombie cage fights. The sight of three zombies stuck in a cell together at the chop, chop shop, cob shop. It's so funny, it gave me an idea. Zombie cage fights. Some people think it's cruel, but come on, they're just zombies. Sure, let's do it. Strap pieces of meat, horse meat to Larry, Curly, and Moe, and placed bets on who would last the longest. The fights are so popular, even the rifts turned up to watch. <laughs> More happiness. Merchant caravan being charitable again. But we're actually sustainable now. Have a... Net... Our net gain loss of food is totally even now. Let's wow, he can single handedly kill the zombies in the grocery without any danger. We're starting to get some badass soldiers here. Let's reclaim the police station though. We'll uh get some more defense here and while we're at it we'll scout the surrounding area around the police station out so we know what's going on. And, uh, let's try and off some zombies around the fort here. Don't mess with the rifts. They're armed to the teeth with skills to match. We stayed out of the way and just let them do their job. We secured this stinking grease factory. If you ask me, we should tear it and every other McDoodles down and build something nicer. How about a church? 
We usually save our jury rigged flamethrowers for these clearing missions. It's a bad assignment, but fire makes it much more fun. Blah blah blah. Okay, we scouted out. In a fit of truly stupid bravery, I explored the subway tunnels too. I expected to be jumped any second, but didn't see a single zombie and came out at another station clear across the city. Hmm, so should we be securing the subway station? Hmm. We can start securing borders here, though. Let's reclaim the graveyard. That sounds like a source of zombies that needs to be taken care of. Let's kill some zombies at the subway station while we're at it. As for the McNoodles... Yeah, let's replace it with a church, why not? Make the people happy. Mm. Scavenge for some food. So we have more supplies. Zombie attack. Had to get our hands dirty this time, but nobody was killed. Good, good. Ooh, we can get a bar now, too. Bar and church right next to each other. Met a young dog in the office. Didn't seem scared of us all. After I fed him some jerky, followed me all day. I've named him Bartholomew. It's not like Bartholomew, it's Bartholomew. I hope he cheers some people up. I think he can be used as a, uh... Yeah, he actually adds to attack, so we can... Add to our defense and our offensive capabilities, too. Corporal Ng can take care of that office single-handedly. Corporal Ng. Ng. Let's scout out City Hall here. End of the day. Wants to sell us a hunting rifle for 15 food. That actually sounds good. Bought the hunting rifle. Hope it's worth the rations. Butch Walsh. Here, have a hunting rifle. Here's an interesting building. Nowhere's Old City Hall. So Nowhere City Hall. I'm sure that was an important building. Reports say it's completely overrun with zombies. So all the bureaucrats are mindless zombies like they were before. But once we reclaim it, we'll have a center for forming a real government. Yay. We can make a better government than the one that existed before, hopefully. I fortified the cop shop, which is more secure than most buildings. Blah, blah, blah. So we have more defense. So let, and now let's reclaim the subway. Alright. We should get started on another research project. Fertilizer. Farms will produce one extra food. We'll be well on our way to self-sufficiency if we research that. But then again... Uh, yeah, let's research zombie vitals here. Make it easier to kill the Zeds. Let's reclaim the bar. And the church while we're at it. Samuel L. Jackson, reclaim the church. Yes. They'll help us out here, hopefully. Zombie horde sighted. Sound the alert klaxons. Alright, disposed of all the bodies and burned them. Good, good. Okay. Let's reclaim that office building. Corporal Ng is so skilled, I heard he can kill Zed just by squinting at them. He taught us all a new technique called Punch to the Windpipe. Samuel L. Jackson. Finished building a new church. It's not a perfect job, but what it is anymore, it'll just have to do. So I have a permanent 10% happiness, at least. And events have been going pretty well, so... Scout out the farm here. Come to think of it, let's scout out a lot of things. Our borders are very unknown right now, I think. Or they're about to be. Scout the mall, scout the Motel 69, Motel 69, 
Ew. <laughs> Gross. I see what you did there, game. Subway fortified. Secured the subway tunnels. No Zed down there at all. Just some big rats. Do we want to fortify the other entrance, too? Yes. Wow, that's actually the only time you can have a disconnect, I think. Those rats don't carry the disease, do they? With our glorious gunpower, the last judgment gang would have to be crazy to raid nowhere. Wait, I suppose they are crazy. Samuel L. Jackson. Horde of zombies moved into the mall today. We're scouting. We had to bring our guys home. Good. Bring them home. Oh boy. Okay then. Probably gonna interrupt one of our fortification things. Obviously you aim for the head, but we've learned more about zombie physiology from cutting a bunch of them up. Our soldiers should be more effective at putting them back in their graves now. Last night we had ourselves a barbecue. Don't ask what kind of meat. Took pot shots at zombies over the walls. Good times. Ah, oh, the church got cancelled. Reclaiming. Samuel L. Jackson got interrupted by a horde of zombies. Set up a still in the bar I just secured. Thank God, because do I ever need a drink? Or more like 30. <laughs> Alright. The offices, I think, are useless. No more computers, no more paperwork, no more bureaucracy. Offices are relics of a bygone era. Replaced with an apartment, church, hospital, school, laboratory. These are, you only really need one of the school, laboratory, hospital, so... Let's set up an apartment. Why not? Let's, uh... Zombie hordes here, so... Let's hunker down. Yeah. Off them off. We've done it. We've reclaimed 25 buildings in the heart of nowhere. Next we need a building to house our new government. Should we look for one now? Yes. We already found the city hall, though. We already know where that is. The last step in rebuilding the city is to go there and write up a new constitution. Don't see why we have to capture city hall for that, but okay. Okay. Let's try and... Reduce the number of bordering buildings we have. It'll help us secure our border. Unlike some places I could think of. I'm just full of the political commentary today, aren't I? Really. Nothing happened today. <laughs> right. Our scout spotted a woman passing near our gates and invited her in. She claims to have escaped from the last judgment gang. Should we offer her some food and hear her story? Yes. She lived in the gang's fort outside town where the men are led by the sadistic Father Cain and women are treated as slaves. She escaped and is heading out west now to live on her own. So, uh, does this, this Father Cain... What does he look like? Well, I don't know. Does he look like a bitch? <laughs> Nowhere has a new apartment now, thanks to my hard work there. Bob Billa. Amino acids and cats again. Swimming pool. Flamethrowers. Let's do some reclamation here. We're in no big hurry. I'll try and train some people who aren't as skilled in building. Just in case. We don't want our skilled builder to get killed and be all slow again. Recruit survivors. Let's go for it. Same over here. Give some people some much needed leadership skill too. Recruitment. Now we're all nice and full. 18 people. Now we're on negative flow again, but... Seventeen days, huh? Oy. All right. Phew. 
huge horde again. Bonus food, sweet. Sun is shining, walls are holding, everyone's working their hardest to collect supplies and keep this city running. Guess that's the good thing about good happiness, 95%. <laughs> Extended our walls around the whole schoolhouse, maybe they got some books in there that could teach me French poetry, you know, to attract the ladies. Megan Mishkin. Hello. <laughs> Okay, now we got another church. So that's like a permanent 20% happiness at the very least. 25 after this, we get this bar back. <laughs> Looks like there's a subway stop close to where we think the last Judgment King have their fort. If we ever need to get there, this would be safer than going above ground. Alright. Where's like a farm I can... Oh, hello. Not too far off, actually. Horde approaches. We've got plenty of building expertise at the fort now, and our builders are excited to get started fixing that helicopter once we have the tools and parts. Hmm. I need to hunker down for the, uh... For the zombie raid, though. Let's get some of the people who are good at fighting out there. Slow down our research, but who cares? Zombie attack. Had to get our hands dirty, but no one was killed. I think Fitzgerald was injured during the fight. Hmm. Finally ready to take on those misogynistic, thieving, fanatical Last Judgment Gang scumbags, and thanks to the subway station, we got a route to their base. Let's ask the Rifts for help, yes. The Rifts agree it's time that somebody took up arms against the Last Judgment Gang. They're going to back us up in the fight. We're ready to start the war from any defensive building. It would be good to get those people off our backs for once. Now let's get some people back on research on fertilizer here. Make ourselves self-sufficient here. Because we would be after that. Kill us some zombies here. Actually, let's use some less experienced people. Leave the more experienced people to defend the fort and give the lesser people some experience. Let's start it. Uh, actually, we don't have any people. Or... Well, let's get started fixing the helicopter at some point. It's got to be useful for something. All right, let's expand to the suburb here. And scavenge for supplies. Whatever supplies there might be. There we go, and handouts from a caravan. Man, I want to know where I want to know where they're getting all their food. Found this hunk of slightly greenish ham and was so hungry I ate it then and there. Bad idea, I guess. Now I can barely keep any food down at all. Blech. Samuel L. Jackson. I thought green eggs and ham were supposed to be good for you. Dug up some sweet loot at the suburb. Hunting rifle. Nice. Mr. Washington, here. Have a rifle. Didn't have time to get everything from the farm before Zed got cut wind of our presence. I don't know who Zed is. He capitalized the name. Should come back for the rest in a few days. Let's go for that farm over there. No, we're bleeding food as it is. As nice as a shotgun sounds. Scavenge for supplies over at the farm. Sounds like a good idea. Before we take it back. Bags of real coffee beans. We really hit the mother load this time. Nowhere is going to be perkier than ever now. Nowhere, huh? So nowhere is going to be perky. <laughs> Kill some zombies, Corporal Ng. Actually, screw the supplies in there. We need to kill the zombies in there is what we need to do. Send some less experienced people in to do that. 
good team will keep him safe. Oh boy. Okay. Oh no. Big huge zombie horde, at least 90 of them. I have some reclamation happening. Preferably from people that don't have a whole lot of combat skill. Because we want... We want to have the people with combat skill here. Let's try and kill some more zombies before they show up, though. See what we can do to make things safer beforehand. Thanks to our research into zombie vitals, we could take out some of the nearby Zed today. Put out poison-laced meat that made their brains melt. Gooey. <laughs> oh, good. Gustav's love caravan is back filled with lovely, in relative terms, ladies ready to service our men. Yeah, stop offering. Horde of zombies moved into the suburb today where we were killing zombies. We had to bring our guys home. They can help defend our fort tonight. So cleared out the farm. Cleared out some Zed. That'll make our job easier. 11% damage. Let's hope we'll be fine. We're fine. Good. And they said peak oil would kill us. Ha! <laughs> this gas station's useless, but our builders could turn it into a lab or something. And we already have a lab. Let's replace it with a bar. Well, we have even food supply. And our research here is almost done, so we should actually get positive food supply. Which is good. I want to bring more people in because I'm a compassionate person like that. Yeah, tomatoes the size of your head. I'm not kidding, the things even kind of look like people, but I guess they taste alright. All our food far farms now produce one more food every day. Sweet, positive flow. Let's recruit a couple of survivors if we can. Kill off some Zed. Anti-zombie science. Cool. Left baited tra traps out just like killing rats. Yay for that research into zombie vitals. Okay. David and Butterknife Brooks. That's a comforting nickname, huh? Okay, we need to scout around our borders here. A lot. I'm uneasy not knowing what's near the borders here. Okay, what else can we research? Signaling. Increases chances of recruiting survivors. Stealth. Makes it safer to scavenge or kill zombies far away. That sounds like a good thing. Only eight days. Huh. That's good. Let's reclaim this grocery, too. We're on our way to making this place safe again. Our scientists approached Dr. Bria, Bria Conico to help with his research. They say he's obsessed with studying the disease so that his methods are increasingly inhumane. Cleared out the all -mart. Let's try and... Recapture that. Recapture it and fortify it. Kill some zombies off in the apartment buildings. Maria Redfield. <laughs> uh, relative of uh, Chris Redfield at all? I hope so. Gustav brought an interesting guy around him and his little roulette wheel and some decks of cards. Should we gamble with some of our food supplies? Only well, we on positive, so sure, why not? Mm. 
110 food. 110 food. 110 food. Game must be rigged. Of course it is. Another win. The gambler shoved me the last of his supplies and said we cleaned him out. Said he didn't even have food for his cat anymore, so I might as well take her too. <laughs> Nelly. Wow. Poor guy. We can give Samuel L. Jackson a kitty. Meow. <laughs> uh, Butterknife Brooks. You take the shotgun. It'll make you be sharper knife. Steak knife Brooks. That's what... Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. You're now steak knife Brooks. <laughs> I was up at dawn finishing the bar this morning. Used to get such beautiful sunrises here in nowhere, but I guess it was all the smog that made them possible. The music in here is kind of irritating. I want to turn off the music. Ah, uh, that was hurting my ears. I will be perfectly honest. It just sounded like. Uh, might make a background noise, maybe, but. Uh, even as background noises. Bleh. Let's kill off some zombies in City Hall here. And make it a lot safer. They hit our walls like a storm, we hit them back. We thinned their numbers, but there's always more. Let's reclaim the apartments. We're about to reclaim the All Mart. Man, another zombie attack. Smoke them, too. Some days everything just seems to go right. We didn't have a lick of trouble killing those zombies and the sun's even shining for once. It's still completely overrun over there, but we're getting there. Alright. Let's scout out some areas here. Because I don't like having an unknown border. Let's build some defenses around the All Mart. Uh, Horde of Zed. Dr. Bryu... Dr. Bryu Koneko still won't tell us what he's doing in that lab, but people have heard screaming coming from there at night. Maybe the doctor's just having nightmares. Yeah, that's it. Apartment looks like a bad place to live. There's at least one guy trying to do that. Alright. Uh, maybe we should try repairing the helicopter now. I want more builders before I do that, though. Take forever, otherwise. <laughs> Yay, fertilizer, working its magic. Hack and slash cleared zombies at City Hall. Let's reclaim that. Speed doesn't matter here, I don't think. Samuel L. Jackson reclaims City Hall for humanity. A machine gun for 25 food. Sure, why not? Maria Redfield, you take machine gun. Oh boy. Hordes are coming. Smoked them. Good. Little known fact about zombies is their keen sense of smell. Leave some rotted meat out and they'll be drawn to it like flies. Tricks like this will let our scavengers and soldiers move more safely. Good. Okay, we'll be able to fix the helicopter in 21 days at the expense of having our builders occupied, but hopefully it'll be worth it. We'll see what the helicopter does. Hopefully. Okay. Um, while we're at, let's rescue this person from the freaking graveyard here. That doesn't seem like a good place to hang out. 
Another zombie horde appeared today, just a couple blocks from the fort. I hope we have enough people to defend while we finish fixing the helicopter. Soldier Lewis was so desperate for some solid walls between him and the zombies, he just about jumped into our arms. Welcome aboard. He looks so somber. My throat's getting dry. How do people talk on talk radio for three friggin' hours? Then again, they have commercial breaks. Ugh. City Hall reclaimed. Start drafting a constitution. Yay! Doesn't sound like a bad idea. Boom! Another victory. Doctor is so skilled he can find polynomial roots without a calculator. Thanks to his help, I almost know what that means now. Samuel L. Jackson. It's as if Zed or Zond what we're doing at the heliport. As soon as he started fixing the helicopter, the horde started showing up. Here comes another one! Fa <laughs> Okay. City Hall. Let's start drafting a constitution. We need five people to do that, I guess. But these are the really talented people at defending our walls. And again, most of our people are, aren't they? Ten days to do that. Looks like we're making some progress, making this a civilized place again. Research anti-venom. Big defense bonus on facing zombies in or outside of the fort. Get another thing we can do well here. That's good. Where is the horde at right now? A couple of days away, which means we can do some killing before they get here. And hopefully that is a dangerous mission. Let's do it anyway. Consequences be damned. Bar raisin. Gustav, stop it. Fifty zombies, twenty zombies cleared. Clearing out some zombies. Oh boy, twenty-four percent chance of damage. Whew, we're good. Another zombie horde. Oh man, they're coming at us like crazy. Let's kill some Zed over here so that we can have some peace at our border. Okay. Let's just do it on one, I guess. Been arguing for days about design and laws of our new government. We narrowed it down to a democracy of some kind, but Mason's insisting we give rights to the zombies as well as the people, and that's just crazy. Samuel L. Jackson. I agree. Clear the undead out of the suburb. Scientists. Get out of the fort for a moment. Uh, get out of there for a moment while we... Ooh, yay, we made some brains melt again. Goody. That one's too close for us to do any real killing. Wants to sell us a crowbar for ten food. Sure, why not? Helps with scavenging, so we'll give it to Higashi here. Higashi, that sounds like a cool name. Oh, gosh. All right. Mason was scratched up. We'll need a few days to recover. Man. They're coming at us like crazy. We're almost done drafting a constitution, and we have ten days till the helicopters are paired. Once the constitution's drafted, we'll have some more people. Right outside the walls, though, not all Mart. Oh, boy. New World Tribune. Signing of the new constitution begins today. Church of the Chosen Ones. Sacrifices on rise. Well, good thing they're not here. 
capital leader elected from candidates. On April 22, 2014, the 21 surviving citizens of nowhere drafted a constitution declaring the city a safe haven for all who desire order in this world. Thus, a new nation was born. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to play your MMO. Too much time wasting. Well, let's keep playing. I want to reclaim the whole city. Oh, right. Into something that could be considered civilization. Happiness is sky high. We cannot start a mission from City Hall to send five people to rebuild a new city. <laughs> so maybe that's how you do the impossible difficulty. But I want to repair the helicopter in Shiznit, too. Let's kill some zombies. Now that we have some people who can actually do so. Yeah. Let's reclaim this graveyard, because why not? Actually, we need all the firepower we can get. Yay, took out some more Zed. Awesome. Nah, I don't think we need a saw. Ow. Oh, interrupted our zombie killing, but oh well. We still got some done anyway. Almost have anti-venom research done. That'll help. Well-placed traps. Took out some Zeds. Yeah. Let's try and reclaim the police station and recruit the survivor. Might as well try. One more survivor in here would be a good thing. Alright, this antivenom should give us some resistance against the disease so bites are no longer 100% fatal. Builder joined the fort today, so now we have another person to help us defend. Goody. Right. Dr. Bryokino is excited about our discovery of a zombie anti-venom. If you ask me, you should have been helping to develop that all along instead of jerking off in that lab of his. The wanker. The police station is all cleaned up and undead free for now. Yeah, let's reclaim the police station. It's more defense, right? All right. Let's try and get some experience to people here. What else can we research, I wonder? Signaling. Which can be researched in like three days, so we might as well. Alright, we have a huge stockpile of food now. I think I was worried about it before. Another easy victory. Nah. All right. Reclaim the apartments. Scavenge for supplies in the warehouse. Da 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 da. It might be good music here for all it. What the heck is up with that guy in the background? <laughs> He's like, hmm. Like, holy crap, that was. That dude was scarier than the zombie was. On April 30th, 2014, the 22 surviving citizens of nowhere repaired the damaged helicopter, letting them to escape, letting them escape to greener pastures in another city. What will they find there? All right. Keep going. I want this entire city liberated. We have enough jet fuel to take five people on a one-way trip to another city. Wait, scout the whole city. Sweet. Now we ha don't have to worry about anything here. Any... Not anything not knowing what we're going to do here. Sweet. Reclaim this area. Kill off some more zombies.
This is a... This is the safety even with the horde at the gates here. Alright. So any places we can reclaim already. Graveyard. Alright. Kill some more zombies. just reclaim this place and let them be then we'll leave to reclaim another city in the next part shot him cooked him we sliced and diced him reclaim this area reclaim this area gonna reclaim as much as possible as fast as possible Destroy the zombies as quickly as possible. Level 10 builder. Bob is so skilled he should have his own improvement show. Bob! Bob the builder! <laughs> we have a level 10 builder. His name Bob. Bob the freaking builder. That's who we have in our base. That's who we have in nowhere. Bob the builder. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Kill some zombies. Kill some more zombies. Kill even more zombies. Is there any places that can start being reclaimed? Yes, then do it. I want this town fully reclaimed and safe for humanity. That way we only have to pick off, like, stray zombies in the forest or whatever. Sure, why not give us a megaphone? Here, you take it. You'll have some leadership now. Reclaim that huge bloody graveyard, and bloody is definitely the right objective. What a mess. You'd have to really love zombies to be happy with this place. It's now inside our walls. I just want to make sure that zombies aren't rising from there. Finish off all those dead bodies. Alright. Kill some of them more. Kill some more of those zombies. Okay. Let's get rid of them and make this place safe again. Killing them off. Let's do some reclamation here. Yeah. I don't know what that scientist is ever going to do, but... I... All right. Woo! Baiting some more zombies. Expanding our walls. We are almost... Done, I think. And then next time we'll do a bigger city, higher difficulty, or something like that. I don't know. Reclaim area, because that's next to the subway station, so we can do that. Hopefully you guys have learned enough here that you can propel this city forward on your own. You won't need me anymore. You won't need Samuel L. Jackson anymore. He will go off to help another city in need. Wow, even with everybody gone, the place is able to be defended. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, reclaim, reclaim, can't reclaim there yet. Reclaim, yeah. 
Kill some zombies there. Kill some zombies here. We are almost completely safe here. Gustav, go away. Oh, yeah. Eh, heck, let's recruit these survivors. Might as well. Yeah. Now let's start reclaiming it. Alright. Recruit survivors. Let's do that before we... Alright. Sweet. We are doing pretty awesome. Very secure. Recruit survivors again. All right, and you guys can figure out to do with the useless buildings. Okay. <laughs> Some people are running their generators. I didn't know the rest of us are left with bloody candles. It's not fair, and it's upsetting everybody. Police station is safe to reclaim now. I think you can research electricity once you've researched radio, but we've got this entire place almost claimed anyway, so... Eh. Boom. What, no special ending? Okay, well now that now I know that a tiny town is a eight by eight and all that stuff. So beat the game. That's on kinda tough and tiny and uh I'm thinking that I'll be working my way up to bigger and harder cities, but we will see. So that's an hour and a half, and have reclaimed the town of nowhere. This is Tanara Kuranov signing off, and expect to see more adventures of Samuel L. Jackson in this zombie apocalypse, spreading his knowledge and expertise and zombie butt kickery to towns and cities everywhere. Dark Kurnov, signing off.